ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today as you can tell by the title we are taking care of the c63 amg more specifically the grill because uh it needs to be replaced carson's is pretty poopy it's barely hanging on we are putting on the blacked out grill i believe it is a gloss black we will figure it out once we get there also if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button don't want to miss out on future content like this please hit that like button it does help out the youtube algorithm promotes my videos to other people like yourselves i don't want to draw out this intro too long so we're going to get started i'm going to zip over to his apartment and we will assess when we get there a quick unboxing it's actually in the car. Big prank. Thoughts, opinions? Are you excited? I am. I got the, um, it says it here on the box. All shiny black. Shiny black. All shiny black. Not all black? All shiny black. All right. I don't want to keep the viewers waiting. We're going to get this on ASAP. There's the car in all its slowness and beauty. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. We got next gen. We got stuff all over the place. What's this? Oh, the top. All right. Carson, you're supposed to refrigerate that. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, got her. Oh shoot! Forgot that part needs to come out. Um, Harbor Freight should have them. Oh man. I don't think it came with that. Is it gonna be the same issue? All right, one very important part we did not factor in was the fact that we need uh, tools to get the top part of the grill out. So quick trip to Harbor Freight should fix that. We might actually just do this entire process in the Harbor Freight parking lot. Should be a breeze, to be honest. I would estimate no more than 10 minutes for the install, but you guys are learning right along with me because I've never done this before. He hasn't. We're just kind of vibing. Just excited, excited to have another gorgeous day on this earth. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, having fun, having a good weekend. Need that T20. $2.99, ladies and gents. Not a bad deal. All right, quick stop at Harbor Freight. These were three bucks for this eight piece right angle screwdriver set. Hopefully we now have all the goodies necessary to go forward with this process. Let's make sure that door is shut. Ugh. Pop it out, sir. Well, that was really, oh, really yeah. easy. <laughs> if you're doing this on your own car, chances are it will not be that easy because uh, Carson's is a little bit broken. So if you need a how-to install, this might not be the video for you. I think we need this part. Though. What are you doing? I need this this thing. You're gonna break it. It won't come out. Are you sure? Mm, I don't have like a flat head to push it out with. I oh, think it's boy. just one of the ripping. Yeah. Oh, perfect, yep. Yeah. Definitely, definitely was supposed to do that. Okay. Well, if you wanted to buy this, sorry. <laughs> this thing might just go in the garbage right afterwards, I think. How to replace grill. <laughs> so, there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws that we need to take out of these. They look like they might be T15. Did you put on a T20? Yeah. T15? Yeah. Okay. That's a perfect fit. It's just like very awkward to get in there. Guys, this right angle, $3 screwdriver thing from Harbor Freight coming in big clutch. If you want one of these, the link will be in the description. Honestly, like, it's kind of sick. <laughs> kind of a cool tool to have. We don't need to uh, show you this entire process. It's pretty simple. Let's take out all six of these little T15 boys. All righty. All the T15 bolts out and uh, chilling on the ground, this thing came off not too bad. Now, uh, leave it exposed like this one, right? Yeah, it'd be like one of those Subaru STIs with the bumper off, just exposing the intercooler. This should go on pretty easy. I mean, self-explanatory. Just do the exact opposite of what you just did with the old one. That gloss black looks good, man. Hopefully it doesn't fade. So this was 170 bucks. Ish. All right, let's put her back on. Nice sticker in your hand. Uh, it's a stamp, actually, and it means I went to the library. <laughs> It's got a different style. Those are like smaller holes. This is a little bigger mesh pattern. I kind of like it. Ugh. Just like that. Just click in the front. Come on. 
Yup. That's such a better fitment up here. Oh yeah. Now with this one, the front up here, I believe this is a C63 style grill for a C300, and that's why it doesn't fit perfectly. So it was not flush up here. Fitment is pretty decent. Now we're just figuring out the clips for this section because this apparatus did not come with the new grill style. It's not a part of the grill. Because it's not part of the grill, it's part of the this. This thing comes up. So there's two components to it. There's an outer layer and then the inner layer. And when you push the little knob inwards, this expands. So it'll fit through the hole. And then when you push it in, it gets bigger so it doesn't come back out. It's like a one-way valve. So you're trying to get out? Yes. Seems impossible. Why is that not going? I don't know. I honestly think we're as good as we can get in here. It's yes. Yeah, it's not doing anything, sir. If you guys are seriously doing this on your own and are using this as a guide, this piece has to come out of the old grill and then push down. For some reason, this is not happening though. So I got super glue on this one, so this one's not going anywhere. We got a little bit of yeah, super duperty glue, so it's causing a little bit of an issue for us, but that's pretty darn solid in there. I think what we're gonna do is close up and uh, call it good, get some cool after shots, and yeah, see what she looks like. The reveal. Dude, minus the uh, fingerprints, I think that does look really good. And it's solid in there, the fitment's good. I mean, it's a slight jiggling, but that's only because of that faulty clip, and that's the car, not the grill itself. Hopefully, you guys didn't hate this video, and hopefully, honestly, you're not using it as a guide. This is mostly just like a vlog style. This is what we did to the Benz today, rather than like a step-by-step, do-it-yourself kind of deal, but guys, I think that looks pretty darn good. The gloss black, a little bit different honeycomb mesh style. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this content on the C63 AMG. I think, in my honest opinion, that gloss black looks a hundred times better than that kind of matte, fake carbon wrap we had on it. Hopefully the wind isn't picking up too much in the mic, by the way. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit subscribe to not miss out on future content with this car. I'll put a couple of videos in the outro screen uh, with the C63 in it if you want to see more of that content. Until next time, though, guys, make sure to hit like on the video. See you in the next video. Adios.